How are you doing guys? Welcome to part two of our guide to the Bonville Cocktail Survival Handbook. If you haven't got your copy of it already, it's still available to download for free at bonvillecocktails.com. Thousands of you have downloaded it already. Thank you so much for that. Now in this video, we're gonna be looking at the drinks from section two from the handbook. Now they're still very simple drinks, but they've got slightly trickier ingredients. You should be able to find them online, but if you can't, we'll be doing a video soon on how to make these ingredients at home. Just a quick reminder before we get onto the drinks to go to our sister channel, The Distilled Truth. The first couple of videos are up there for you to check out. We've also just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram, so thank you so much if you followed us there. If you haven't, get over there and give us a follow to keep up to date with the channel and to look at some pretty pictures of cocktails. Right, back to today's video, section two of the Bonville Cocktail Survival Handbook. All right guys, so this will be mission number six from the Cocktail Survival Handbook. This is called a Bee's Knees. This dates back to the 1948 edition of David Embry's Fine Art of Mixing Drinks. It's a really simple riff on a gin sour. First up, we're gonna use honey syrup, 20 mils. Now this is two parts honey to one part water. And we're using those ratios because that balances perfectly with 20 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then we're gonna go to our final ingredient, which is 50 mils of London dry gin. I'm just gonna shake that up. We'll fine strain that into a chilled cocktail glass. Now Embry's version said to finish it with a lemon twist. I don't think it needs it, but in the taster notes on the distilled truth, I will give it a little spritz of lemons there to see if there is a big taste difference. But I'm gonna leave it as it is for now. And that is a bee's knees. Mission number seven is gonna be the whiskey sour. Don't forget, all drinks are gonna have tasting notes over on the distilled truth. And thank you so much for all your kind comments over there. It's been really worthwhile doing. It's really inspired us to carry on doing those tasting notes. Right, back to the drinks. Whiskey sour, shake and drink. Now, this cocktail gained massive popularity during Prohibition and it's gone on from strength to strength. This is one drink you really need to play around with the ratios to satisfy your own taste. But this is how we're going to make it. We're going to start off with 25 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice, 15 mils of simple syrup, one pot sugar, one pot water, and then 50 mils of bourbon, Buffalo Trace we're using. And again, you know, depending on how sweet the bourbon is that you're using, or if you want to use a rye whiskey, you need to play around with those sugar lemon ratios to make sure you get it right. We are not going to shake it just yet. We're going to crack an egg, egg white into here and give it a quick dry shake. The whole egg white might be a little bit much. Um, you need about 20 mils at least. All right, as this drink's being served on the rocks, you could probably get away without a dry shake. And there's been a lot of chat recently about reverse dry shaking, and that's a whole nother story, and I'm happy to go into that on The Distilled Truth. But I'm just gonna do a straight dry shake and then we're gonna shake with ice after that. So I should have said, we're just doing that to emulsify the egg white, get that nice foam. And then we're gonna shake with ice. Okay, so we'll strain that into our frozen rocks glass. Nice. One last ingredient, Angostura bitters. You can put that in the shaker. That's probably a normal way to do it. I like to put a few drips on top. And then we're gonna finish off with a lemon wedge and rosino cherry and that's a whiskey sour. All right guys, mission number eight, another one of the big dogs that doesn't need much introduction. We are gonna make a margarita, starting off with 20 mils of freshly squeezed lime juice, followed by 
20 mils of triple sec or Cointreau. Now I like to add five to 10 mil of simple syrup to that because I don't feel the triple sec and the lime juice balance perfectly. And I don't want to add more sweetness with the triple sec because that's going to overpower the drink slightly. So if you want a more sour drink, just leave the sugar syrup out, but that's how I like to make it. And then we're going to finish that off with 50 mils of our tequila. I'm using a Reposado, but you can use Blanco, totally fine. And then we're going to shake that up. I'm going to take that off the ice whilst I prepare the glass. I probably should have done that before, but so it doesn't dilute anymore. I'm just going to strain that out quickly. I'm going to grab my glass from the freezer. Okay, so we're going to do a salt rim on this. I like to just do half salt. So if you decide one sip, you don't fancy any salt. You can just go from the other half of the glass. But we're going to wet the edge of that with some lime juice. And then I'm just dipping that in freshly cracked sea salt. I would not use like table salt. It's much nicer to use ground sea salt. And then we can just pull that straight in. I was pretty quick, so hopefully that won't have deteriorated too much. And then we'll finish that off with a lime wedge. So if you do want it a bit more sour, you can just give that a little squeeze in. A lime wheel looks pretty, but it doesn't really do anything. So we go with a wedge. And there you go, margarita. We are on mission number nine now, and this is a little known classic, but a classic nonetheless, and deservedly so, the Jack Rose. We're gonna start with our first ingredients, which is 25 mils of freshly squeezed lemon juice. Next up, I'm gonna say 15 to 20 mils of grenadine. This is because it very much depends on the grenadine you use. You might be making homemade grenadine. So you need to play around with that. Make sure you get your ratios right. Make sure they're nice and balanced. Uh, last up is Calvados. Technically you should be using a Applejack, but it's not that easy to get in the UK. And essentially they're the same thing. Just an apple brandy. 50 mils of that. And that's it. I'm gonna shake that up. And again, I don't think there's any need for a garnish. You could garnish it with a lemon wedge if you wanted if, to squeeze it in if you want to balance that sweetness a bit more. But that is a Jack Rose. All right guys, mission 10 and the last of today's video, we are gonna make another David Embry drink. This is called an Army and Navy. Little bit of a cheat and I'm gonna tell you why in a minute, but we're gonna start off with our first ingredients. That is 25 mils of fresh lemon juice. Next up, Orja almond syrup, 15 mils. And last but not least, our London dry gin, 50 mils. Now, you might have noticed that this is almost exactly the same as the bee's knees, but we're just using almond syrup instead of honey syrup. And there's a reason for that. This is just an example to show you that you've got two seemingly very similar drinks, but you just change one ingredient and you completely change the flavor profile of the drink and massively expand your drink's repertoire. So here we go, we're gonna shake this one up. You could have added Angostura bitters into this, but I think it, it doesn't need it. But again, in the tasting notes over on the Distilled Truth, we'll put a dash in and see how it tastes. And we'll fine strain that into our chilled cocktail glass. No garnish needed, that's an army and navy. Hope you enjoyed that guys. That was section two from our Bonville Cocktail Survival Handbook. The tasting notes for which will be over on the Distilled Truth. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and we'll see you soon for part three. 
Don't forget to check out the tasting notes on the distilled truth. All right, guys, mission number six from the Bonville cocktail. <laughs> Let's, what are we calling it again? So a big thanks to all of, <clears throat> okay. To our sister channel, The Distilled Truth. And so, <clears throat> so be before we go, we've also just hit 10,000 followers on Instagram. So, so <clears throat> thank you so much if you followed us there. If you haven't, go and give us a follow to keep up to date with the channel and Just a quick reminder, just a quick reminder before we go on to the drinks to go, fuck's sake. Just a quick reminder before we get onto the drinks to go to our sister channel, The Distilled Truth, and subscribe, subscribe, fucking lost it. In this video, we're gonna be, in this, thank you for that. How are we doing guys? Welcome to part two of our guide to the Bonville cocktail collection. Cocktails. <laughs> what was it again? Mix guide. Section two of the Bonville cocktail survival handbook. That's it. Let's okay, so where am I going from?